This is KD Zero TLJ. And this is KC Zero VII. Welcome to Fall Fest in St. Ansker, Iowa. On that, this is something our Chamber of Commerce does, or St. Ansker Community Chamber, actually. And we have been doing it for 19 years. So everybody, vendors come up town, and it's it's fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, quite interesting as you stroll through 4th Street here, which is the main drag running east-west in St. Ansgar. All the different vendors. Uh, make sure you come with an empty stomach, uh, plenty of food, and a lot of little knickknacks and trinkets, and a lot of neat artwork you can buy. Yeah, and great prices. We don't charge our vendors to come, so it's usually things are pretty reasonable, and uh, everybody has a fun time. With over 60 vendors expected for Fall Fest this year, a section of 4th Street, the main road through St. Ansgar, was closed down to vehicle traffic. Only vendor setup, pedestrian foot traffic, golf carts, and bicycles are allowed through this section. It's a three block section starting at the food center on the east side, going west to reminisce. St. Ansgar, being a small farm town here in North Iowa, it's a community where people are helping people. That also carried over to the vendors during setup. I noticed a couple of vendors are having a hard time setting up their canopy or fixing the signage. And the person next to them in the vendor booth gave a helping hand and got them going. We had a slight chance of rain this morning. We did get a few raindrops here and there. Sorry about the raindrops on the lens. Weather started out absolutely fantastic. It was clear skies, a little chilly, and a slight breeze. As the morning went on, it clouded up. and Like I said, we have a few raindrops here and there, but not, it was not going to be a washout. Moving down here about the center of uh, Vendor Row, as you can see, we still have vendors setting up on this early morning. Vendors are reminded it's first come, first serve for location. So usually the vendors will show up quite early to get that good spot. Another thing, a lot of these shops are small family ran. You have mom and dad and the kids setting up the canopy, bookshelves, applying the product onto the bookshelves, and getting ready for the big day. Here in the east, looking east on the west end of the vendor row, as you can see, some vendors actually dropped off trailers full of their product to get that early start on Saturday morning. Nine o'clock came, vendors are ready, people are ready, let Fall Fest begin. One of the popular items sold by a lot of vendors were fall mums. Fall mums are becoming very popular for home decorations. There is a good selection of color, sizes, tightness of the bud, and pricing was actually quite even across vendors. Another good seller this morning was hot chocolate and hot coffee by the food trucks. It wasn't a cold morning, but it was a nice cool fall morning getting everybody in that fall shopping mood. Another item of a lot of talk was how to secure your canopy in case the winds came up. One group was using buckets full of sand attached to the legs, others were using cinder blocks, and some were even had PVC pipes full of concrete. Luckily enough, the winds already get strong enough to prove which idea was the best. Again, fall mums were very popular, along with fresh items out of your garden and field. As you can see, canopies were abundant, along with products. Yarn Mobile, a small business out of Austin, Minnesota, mainly going to be internet-based, does have a truck that's going to go around to the small town selling yarn and yarn products. Another good selling was sweets cupcakes. Normally they run out of products about 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the last few years. This year they were able to stay open to at least 11. If you ever have a chance to taste their products, do so. It's unbelievably delicious. A very popular item that was put down on 4th Street this year and in past years were picnic tables that gave people a chance to sit down, relax, talk to friends, taste that treat they just purchased at a vendor, and at lunchtime, it was hard to find an open spot to enjoy your meal. Shops along 4th Street also got into the fall festival mood by having sales inside. This gave an opportunity for customers to buy products and a lot of good deals were had. As you can see, pumpkins were probably the next item behind mums that were very popular amongst the sellers. Canopy upon canopy, vendors upon vendor, vendors. There was a lot of products being sold. There was a little duplication between vendors, but there was always a lot of unique, one-of-a-kind items. A lot of the vendors were asking customers who were just looking, what would they be really interested in? What would they like to see next year? 
good idea to check your customers and see if you can get that product they really need. Another way of getting around town during Fall Fest was walking, golf cart, or bicycling through the vendor area. Kettle corn was a very popular food item this year. Each time you turn around, somebody had a bag of kettle corn, and as you walk through that section of the vendor section, the only thing you could smell was the kettle corn being cooked. Like I said, there was some duplication in products sold by the vendors. There was a lot of one-of-a-kind unique items. One booth I was just knocked away. They were actually doing artwork of vases, bowls, and other bottles and items made out of glass, colored glass. It was just pretty much breathtaking and beautiful how they turned out. The St. Edgar Junior class, along with We Saints Daycare, were doing a fundraiser for their projects. Along with the SOS Save Our Strays, was also had a booth set up selling products, accepting donations, and had a picture book full of animals ready for adoption. This vendor had a real neat idea. He had an electric chainsaw and was cutting up thin chunks of logs, selling them as coasters to his customers. Treats were plenty. Treats and other baked the goods were very good selection. It was really hard to make the decision due to the number of different types that was out there. Here we are on the west end of the vendor row. Again, canopy upon canopy, product upon product. You took your time and you were looking for something special, you could actually find it. Jewelry, sweaters, shirts, shawls, scarves were, could be found down at this end. St. Stone had his selection of stones for anywhere from paperweights to addresses to put on the end of your driveway. Fresh stuff from the field and garden was also plenty. Don't forget your wooden picture frame, windows, uh, decorations for the holiday season to decorate your house, along with wooden bowls, wicker baskets for that gift time exchange. Need that special necklace or ring for that person in your life? It could be found here. Tubby Tactical is selling bracelets and belts that were made out of paracord. They could actually be unwove and used as a rope in case of emergency. A new, new item this year was window shutters decorated for the holidays throughout the year. Let's not forget about purses, handbags, and clutches. There was plenty of selection, colors, sizes, if you just took your time, you could find that special bag that you needed. Local blacksmiths was showing off his handywares. A lot of good ideas. A couple items caught my attention. It was two electric lights that came with shepherd hooks that you could actually put in your yard for at night. KB0 SPM John is here promoting his business, Nystrom Signs, out of Austin, Minnesota. Even though there's a lot of spaces over three blocks, there's still a lot of people. It didn't look that crowded until you started looking closely. This piano is donated and people are encouraged to play. Sweet Treats by Alley Weaver made 110 caramel apples and sold out in under two hours. For the Outer Creek Orchard get-together on September 28th, she's planning on making over 500. Club President Mike KC0YQU showed up with his wife Deb and was talking with John and Mary. The afternoon the clouds thinned up and it was a gorgeous day to go shopping. The sun was nice and bright and everybody was having a good time. If you're looking for that little inspirational comment on a board to put in your bathroom to give you a little extra kick or a nice welcome sign to put by your front door to, to greet your friends and neighbors, you can be found here. Again, there's a lot of good selection of products, a few duplication, but a lot of one of the kind. TLJ is heading over to check on John and Mary, see how they made out today on promoting their program. This is Gracie, the Maris Hardware Dog. Usually she greets customers at the door and helps you with your shopping. For safety reasons today, she was put on a leash. I don't know who is more heartbroken, the Damaris's or Gracie. Remember, dogs are welcome here at F Hall Festival. Just make sure your dog is friendly, on a leash, and you pick up after your dog.
Hi, I hope you enjoyed everything. We really had a wonderful day and we had lots of people from all over the place, uh, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin. We hope everybody enjoyed what we put up. Uh, we're just a small little town and I think we do pretty good for a fall festival. So hope you can come next year. We always do it the weekend after Labor Day. Yep, yeah, I was surprised the uh, crowd was real good. Weather started out nice and sunny, then it kind of got overcast. We got a few sprinkles here and there, uh, but the number of people kind of fell through it quite late. Um, I was quite impressed by that. So. Yeah, yeah, we really had people come late, and on that, I think everybody had a good time. It's just a real nice, relaxing day, and the food is wonderful, and it's just fun to get everybody together. So. So, thanks for watching, 7-3. Be sure to tell your friends, neighbors, and other hands, and hit that bell to get reminders when we send out new videos. 7-3, everybody. Okay. Okay. Oh, pretty good. Close in three. Okay. Two. You gonna say something? Oh, I thought you were gonna say something. I, I was waiting for you. Okay, it's mine. Okay. okay.